Three days of racing already completed at the 33rd Student Yachting World Cup in a mixed bag of conditions. Sun to rain, light wind to downwind surfing. With half the racing schedule completed, the excitement and competitive edge between the teams is running high. The weather in Pont Nic, France has certainly put teams through their paces, but today the wind was said to be a stable northwesterly nine knot breeze, with lots of sun and possibly lighter breeze later. It didn't quite turn out as planned as the breeze decreased for the day's second and third races, making racing incredibly tricky out on the track. Teams from all over the world are competing, including two Asian representatives with Japan represented by Kobe University and China by Xiamen University. The different cultures competing here offer a unique opportunity for the students to learn from each other, a unique aspect of the event. Uh, my name is Akihiro Nunome. Uh, I'm a Japanese team coach. And the difference between uh, Japanese sea and uh, this Atlantic Ocean is uh, a very big wave and uh, very strong wind and uh, heavy rain. But uh, our team members uh, are going better and, and better. In the second race of the day, the J80 fleet opted for the committee boat end of the start, except Germany's Aachen University team, who were the only boat at the pin end. The Germans chanced their luck to opt for the left side of the course, while the rest of the fleet sailed to the right that had been favourable all week. Against the odds, they found the pace on the left-hand track and rounded the windward mark clearly ahead, with the rest of the fleet a few metres behind. The Germans held on to their lead in the downwind, with the Swiss now in second. On to the second upwind and the Swiss followed the Germans to the left side and closed the lead to the Germans with some impressive strategic racing. Back to the windward mark and Germany only just held onto their lead with the Swiss breathing down their necks and set to make their strike in the final downwind leg. The Swiss opted to sail a lower course than the Germans and at the first jibe had grabbed the chance to use their better speed and position on the track to overtake the Germans. Clearly their crew of dinghy sailors liked the lighter winds to tease their J80 faster. So the Swiss claim their first bullet of the series, proving how tricky these conditions are with tactics and strategy as important as boat speed. For the rest, it was a procession to the finish. An impressive day for the Swiss who finished second in the first race and wrapped up with another win in the final race. In the previous days, they pushed to the front of the fleet but struggled to maintain their form and slip back through the pack. 13 races now completed, and great to see lots of different teams making themselves known at the front of the fleet in a superb demonstration of talent. Just two days remain to find the winners of the 2013 Student Yachting World Cup. Stay tuned!